Well, it was the hottest day of the year so far for some parts of southern England particularly, with temperatures rocketing up into the lower 30s, with maximum temperatures earlier today in Eastleigh in Hampshire, 33 degrees, and also at Fordingbridge as well, 32 in Alton, also in Hampshire, and 32 in Salisbury as well. Parts of London also got into the lower 30s too, pushing close to those temperatures as well. The minimum temperatures this morning were at Cairngorm, 4 degrees in the mountains of Scotland and 6 degrees at Castle Rea in Ireland. A lot of Irish places getting those low temperatures overnight. Well, we are looking at potential thunderstorms tomorrow and Thursday, looking at those green areas, those marginal risks right now on our convective outlook, and then uh, becoming a bigger risk across London and the southeast into the early hours of Thursday morning, and more storms scattered across the country throughout Thursday. Friday, we may see, in fact, Saturday, we may see some uh, extra small scale storms out east. Well, this was Hemel Hempstead earlier today at 1.10 p.m. where the temperature, maximum temperature reached 30 degrees. And this is the current look at all of the watches and warnings that we've issued right now. There's a lot of heat advisory still in effect over a concentrated central part of the country and across the south coast with some wind advisory still off the northern tips of Scotland. So let's take a look at the progression over the next few hours then. There's going to be a hit and miss with cloud again and a big discrepancy here. Clearer skies further north where temperatures will plummet down to around 5 degrees uh, in out outside of the cities that would be. And further south much milder air mass staying at about 14 degrees in large parts of England and Wales. Throughout Wednesday we'll start to see some possible storms in uh, southern England, central England, uh, maybe into Wales and in Western Ireland. Further north though in Scotland first of all those temperatures uh, a little bit more moderate there further north uh, but further south in Glasgow possibly the warmest day of the week 24 degrees there under clearer skies so a really nice day uh, similar in Belfast as well before the cloud arrives 23 degrees there and across the rest of Ireland we will be seeing some scattered showers possibly thundery with maximum temperatures of 23 across England and Wales a similar story there as well cloud will build later on in the day and potential for thundery storms uh, to blow up across the Welsh borders and possibly towards the West Country temperatures up to 30 degrees maximum in Hampshire by the looks of things there with London getting to 29. It really will probably depend on which areas have the clearest skies as to who gets the maximum temperatures tomorrow. Some storms off the coast there as well over France, uh, some very powerful storms moving northeasterly. In terms of winds, we're not seeing too much in terms of uh, strong winds there throughout the course of Wednesday. Maybe a little bit breezy here and there, especially further east near the wash. Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we can see a few storms building up there across the central and northern part of England, according to this model run. Although the uh, Met Office suggesting that there'll be quite a lot of it moving through London and the southeast into Thursday. And then we can see some more potential storms building up later on in the day. Uh, potentially something to track there. But in Scotland, it's going to be another pleasant day after some possibly a bit of drizzle overnight and maybe some of it still hanging on near the uh, Western Isles. Uh, but temperatures up again uh, this time for the eastern part of Scotland really 24 degrees in Perth and Edinburgh there um, and also a warm day in Belfast and into the Republic of Ireland very warm temperatures there as well 26 in Dublin probably the warmest day of the week there in Ireland uh, with some really decent temperatures and fairly clear skies after that rain moves away early doors well across England and Wales a very nice day as well mostly clear skies but storms will be compounding that later on the will be popping up uh, more storm coverage further south as you can clearly see there along the m4 corridor into london and towards the home counties in the southeast but further north as well there could still be some pop-up storms too so we'll be getting a bit breezier especially for the west throughout the day there as another little front starts to uh, arrive uh, but in general it's still looking pretty decent so you can see those storms really uh, blowing up in those late hours of Thursday. It will all be over by the early hours of Friday morning where it will be clearing up and a very mild night in London, 17 degrees. And on Friday we get this big band moving through, we'll be bringing cooler air in behind it. But ahead of it though still we'll get another day of much warmer temperatures, 28 degrees the maximum in the southeast, but across the whole of England really into the mid-20s again, Wales at about 23 before that big front moves through producing a lot 
of rain, possibly one or two thunderstorms, we're not sure yet, uh, but certainly quite a chunky band there, providing us a lot of precipitation and cooler air behind it. Well, if we do go storm chasing, we'll let you know on our social media outlets as soon as we've got a plan in place. We're still monitoring it right now. In the meantime, you can watch our severe weather highlights on our channel throughout the course of this year. Just take a look at our YouTube page. Become an ultimate fan today.